Welcome back, everyone. You are listening to another episode of Fast Facts Perio Edition, brought to you by A Tale of Two Hygienists in partnership with Dentist Rx. And now, please welcome your host, Katrina Sanders. Hello, and welcome to Fast Facts Perio Edition. In this episode, we discuss the Socrancy bacterial cluster classifications. In 1998, Socrancy et al. discovered ways in which we could better classify the bacteria associated with periodontal disease. Specifically, Sokransky evaluated the fact that these particular bacteria had various complexities when it came to the ways in which their pathogenicities either established a stability of health or contributed to pathogenicity around disease. Known as the golden age of microbiology, anywhere from 1880 to 1920, etiologic agents or understanding of pathways and etiologic factors of periodontal diseases became initiated. However, it wasn't until Sokransky and his team evaluated the shift or the dysbiosis between health and disease-producing bacteria that we truly began to understand that periodontal disease by itself is not simply a disease of bacteria presence, but rather a disease affiliated with disease-producing bacteria and a dysbiosis or an imbalance between the health and disease-producing bacteria. So Kransky classified these periodontopathogenic bacteria into different complexities, noting specifically that the earlier colonizers, classified as your green complex bacteria, are the bacteria that are typically affiliated with health. In these classifications, E. corridens and the capnocytophagia series were evaluated and classified based on their abilities to produce health. In the earlier colonizers, yellow complex bacteria of the streptococcal series were specifically identified, specifically strep mitis, strep oralis, and strep sanguis. As disease progression continued to move, Sokransky classified orange complex bacteria, specifically Prevotella intermedia, and Fusobacterium nucleatum, as well as C. rectus. Finally, we advance into the red complex series, specifically P. gingivalis, T. denticola, and T. forsythia. Finally, a Greek etibacter actinomycetum comatans has been placed into its own unique category based on its unique pathogenicity. The next several programs are going to look at the green, yellow, orange, red, and pink complex bacteria as they're classified by Sokransky et al. This has been another episode of Fast Facts Perio Edition with Katrina Sanders. Please feel free to reach me on Instagram at the Dental Wine Genist or on my website, www.katrinasanders.com. Cheers. Thank you for listening to another episode of Fast Facts Perio Edition, brought to you in part by Dentist Rx, makers of the IntelliSonic line of power brushes. Find out more by visiting their website at dentistrx.com. We'll see you next week for another Fast Facts.